two half dollars in the hand. Now here's where the optical illusion comes in place. If I just wiggle and shake my hands like this, you actually swear you see one go over to the right hand. If I do this once again, you see they both come over to the right hand. Now if I do it slow enough, it looks like that, and that's the one dollar trick. We're going to cover each one of the coins in a fashion somewhat like this. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four. What do me a favor? Take place in the machine. That's good. Watch. Hey, that's jackpot. Very good. <laughs> yes, one last prop we're going to use is the magic wand. Watch it closely because I'm going to take and place a coin in the hand. I'm going to give it a little tap with the wand. Poof, gone, vanished, disappears in the thin air. It's no longer there. The second coin. A little tap. And it's gone. That leaves us with two coins. The third coin. That's gone as well. And the fourth coin. My favorite dogs. We don't even use the wand for this. We just take it like this and we toss it. Now if you take a look, you'll see we now have all four coins under that cylinder, under their cork, which is inside the cylinder, with no top and no bottom. Now to further continue the exper experimentation here, we're going to take and place the cork inside the hand. The coins remain underneath the cylinder. Remember, you got the cork in the hand, the coins under the cylinder. Watch close, because all I do is I squeeze the cork like this. Changes back to the first coin. The second coin, we'll find that in the nick of time. You see that appears, now appears underneath my watch. Coin number three, it's right there. Coin number four, it's right there. If you take a look inside, now inside the cylinder, all we have is that piece of cork. And that's the trick made famous by John Ramsey. <laughs>